Hello YouTube. This is Andy with Andy's Dizzy Vlogs. I uh, am filming this video on a Thursday. Um, today is the day that I have school. Um, and I've been making it a routine, I suppose, to make a video every other Thursday when I have school. Um, because it sets a good benchmark um, that I can kind of look back and see how I've been doing over the months. Um, but also, it's, I don't know why, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, go into it ad nauseum anymore. But there, I have a previous video where I talk about what it is in my environment that causes my vestibular symptoms to be worse. But for whatever reason that is, the school happens to be one of those places. Um, and so for that reason, I think it's a good litmus test to kind of judge how, my, you know, my progress. And today, um, I know the last video that I filmed, if I recall correctly, was not good. I had a really bad day, uh, my last school, uh, last classroom time. Now, granted, I didn't go into the same rooms. I was solely in the classrooms today. We didn't do any lab work. Uh, but still, even two weeks ago when I was walking throughout the halls, I felt extremely disjointed. Um, my head was not with me. I could not think about anything. Um, now, today, I, I think, I don't think this has much to do with vestibular migraines because like every class, I'm falling asleep. Um, my brain just shuts off when I start hearing people give lectures about stuff. Um, so that's not anything. Uh, but overall, compared to last, my last class two weeks ago, I did much better. Walking through the halls, I did better. I... I I didn't feel completely normal, but nothing sent me into like a panic or anything. Um, maybe two or three, I, I know the past maybe three videos I filmed leaving school was bad. Um, maybe even four videos, the past four videos have not been good. So I guess that's better that today was you know, I have nothing notable that's bad to comment on. Um, now, that's not to say that it was good, because I still felt off, if that makes any sense. I did not feel like myself, per se. But I did not have any phantom sensations. I didn't have... This, I didn't have that dysphoria, that um, just sort of intense discomfort in my surroundings. Um, and it was most notable when I would leave the classroom every hour we have a break and we'd walk down the halls and I'd usually go outside and get some fresh air. And the, the hallways are really, have really tall ceilings and are really wide and they just, they were really, really screwing with me and I just felt very uncomfortable walking down the hallways. I didn't feel as bad today. <clears throat> so, and again, I'm not out of the woods yet. My mom and dad were making fun of me because I wasn't saying the phrase properly. So I'm not out of the woods yet. Or the weeds. I'm still in the woods and the weeds. I'm sure they're going to get a kick out of that whenever they watch this. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not where I need to be. Definitely not by a long shot, but it was better. So 
that's a good thing. Um, I can't remember when the last time I made a video was, but the past couple days have been... I want to say not great. Um, I have been going to the gym. <coughs> I had a cold. I still have a little bit of a cough, but and I still have a little bit of congestion, but not as bad as it was over the weekend. And I took Monday off. I think I made a video Monday and maybe Tuesday. So today's Thursday. Yeah, the past couple days have certainly been better than those days when I had my cold and when I stayed home from work. Um, they've been better than those days. Um, but I still had a good bit of difficulty at work. Um, just feeling... I'll tell you what. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a new symptom. It's hard to keep them... Hard to keep them uh, sort of organized in my head because they do change over time and they kind of morph uh, into one another. So it becomes tricky to identify symptoms. There are some definite staples that really suck, um, but some, particularly the, uh, the types of headaches seem to change. Uh, I know yesterday I was having random stabbing pains in my left ear and not like ear pressure. I didn't have ear pressure. I had literal stabbing pains that would just like pulse on and off throughout the day. Um, and it was not a constant thing. Um, what was I going to say before that? Oh, I get, I'm getting these headaches that... I'm almost certain are the cause of the way I'm feeling and perceiving the world. And it's hard to describe, but I have this dull, achy, this dull, achy sensation in the top of my head. And I've said this before, and it still doesn't make sense. But you know what nausea feels like. Your stomach feels upset. You feel a little woozy. If you get real nauseous, you feel like you're going to throw up. We all know that to come from the stomach. Everybody, when you say, I'm nauseous, everybody thinks, yeah, I know what that feels like. I've thrown up before. I know what it feels like to be nauseous. But if... Try to imagine that feeling, but in your head. That's exactly what it feels like. And I know it's coming from a headache because I, I have this, I can sense that it's coming from inside my head. Um, and just to be clear, because I said inside my head, I don't mean, um, I don't mean uh, psychologically inside my head. I mean, like physically, I can feel it in my head. Uh, but there is a sense of nausea in my head. As weird as that sounds, that's exactly how it feels. Um, and that is rather annoying and uncomfortable. Uh, and I had that today, um, especially as the day went on, uh, the further I got into my day. So school, I end two hours earlier than work, which is nice. Unfortunately, I had a bunch of things I had to go run around and do afterwards, so I didn't really get, I got to the gym a half an hour earlier than I normally would. So I had to run around for an hour and a half. Oh, I should mention that too. So it's, it's worth noting that um, I went to a couple stores after class and I didn't go straight to the gym. Um, I went one place real quick, and then I went to a Marshall's, and that place often causes me to not feel very good, um, especially on top of what I'm already feeling that day, uh, intensifies things, and 
I did, a, you know, I did not, not too bad in there. And then after that, I went to another store right, uh, right next door, um, Kohl's, and I walked around there, not as long, but like 10 minutes. And then I left there, and then I went to the gym. And I got my workout in, and that was fine. Um, I think I'm, I need to add a little bit of protein to my diet because I'm still not... I feel stronger than I was with the protein added, but I still am not fully recovering because I don't feel like I'm coming back stronger each day. So I'm going to add a little bit of protein. So I went to the gym, and then I went to Walmart right after because I had to pick up a few things, and since I had the extra time, I went and did that. So I walked around Walmart for about a half an hour, and was starting to feel the um what do you call it the um exponential build up of the taxation of my vestibular system throughout the day um i could tell that like okay you've done enough you've had a full day um, a really full day, uh, full of vestibular nightmares, and got through it relatively unscathed. Um, I feel pretty decent right now. Um, there's also the symptom of feeling really amped up, like really hyped and overstimulated even though I don't take any stimulants, no caffeine, no nothing. Uh, that's a symptom that is very, um, I hate that feeling and it's very um, distracting and it, it, it pulls me out of my present moment. It makes it very difficult for me to, to be present. Um, and that's with work, that's with socializing uh which is really frustrating especially since i have so little time um if i do which i haven't in a while but if i do hang out with someone like i had the wedding you know a couple weeks ago and it's just it kind of robs you of the present moment because you're well, you physically don't feel like you are grounded in yourself. And that's very frustrating. Um, and it gets really old. It gets really old when you're dealing with it day after day after day after day after day for years. It gets old. Um, so those, along with, you know, random headaches, the headaches, the past, I would say three or four days, the headaches have been less than maybe two weeks ago. Uh, nonetheless, I still get them throughout the day. You know, I, it's hard to put a number on it because sometimes they only last for 10 seconds. Sometimes they last for a couple minutes. Um, or sometimes they're that dull, achy nauseous feeling type of headache that lasts for hours so like i said the symptoms have been changing um also real quickly i want to address the anxiety um i was experiencing a, a lot of anxiety um and panic attacks i still want to chalk that up to my um my dose increase. I think I'm very sensitive to medication of all types. And I think when I, I jumped my venlafaxine, instead of doing 12.5 increments, I did 37.5. I think that that was too big of a jump for me to make. And because it takes a while to kick in, it was, I don't remember at this point, <clears throat> maybe five or six days later that I really started to feel strange and 
and there was two nights. One was the worst, and the next night was like 80% as bad as that previous day. But the one night I had a really, really bad panic attack. And if it were the first time that I had experienced that, like I did many, many, many years ago, that would have sent me into a a world spin uh what's the word uh, what's it called when you start up here and you twirl down uh whatever whatever the thing that planes do when they're nose diving i would have done that um and gone into like almost gone into a mental hospital because that's what almost happened to me when this all started originally not the vestibular migraines but my panic disorder my panic attacks um yeah that that knocked me out for a long time but i had a panic attack for the first time in a while of that gravity um you know i i think i made a video of it and i i unfortunately because i'm because i i guess it never it never gets easy it never becomes bearable or tolerable. But I think you learn how to deal with it better. You still feel all of the fear from it. There's no getting around that. Um, but I suppose within a day or two, I was able to deal with it better than I would have in the past. But that anxiety has seemed to have been quenched quite a bit there's still a tinge of it here or there um but it's been better the past couple days i also watched a video on instagram about this woman who's a vestibular therapist and she talks about neuroplasticity and how exercising um is one of the best things to do for triple pd uh, which i've been diagnosed with and so, on top of losing weight, um, those are two really good reasons for me to keep pushing myself to go to the gym. So, um, I did miss, well, I missed Monday because that's when I stayed home from work because I was sick. Um, and I actually intended to go to the gym, but I just had a lot of stuff that got in the way. Um, but so I missed the gym Monday, but I've gone Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I will go tomorrow. And then I always take Saturday, Sunday off. So, you know, uh, it's something that I want to keep pushing myself to do because I think it's going to help me um, with my symptoms and I need to lose weight. So it's a win-win. Uh, and... Uh, I'm I'm also just an update. I um am still currently on half of the uh gabapentin. I I cut that in half with my doctor's permission and uh I am still at that dose. So anyways, that's it. Uh quick update which is 18 19 minutes that's quick for me um that's it so hope you're all doing well if not hang in there all you can do is take one day at a time so if you're not thriving keep trying take your meds see what works trial and error try to go to the gym try to do your vestibular exercises and until then uh, stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.